In this video, we're checking out CoinOps Next 2 R3, Rev3, the third uh, update. Now, there was a second update, which I haven't done a video on, so I just went straight to the third one. And basically, get the latest version of RetroArch and a couple other things. We'll look at the change log. We'll go ahead and show you how to update it so you have the latest version. And then we're going to be testing out this Dream, uh, not Dreamcast, but Nintendo GameCube pack. It has, uh, what, 72 or so? uh gamecube games and it's an awesome collection that was a great system with a lot of really great titles on it so let's uh, have a peek at this one so today we have two packs we're going to be adding to our coin ops next two we have the new r rev 3 so version 3 of coin ops next two if you're getting the r3 version you don't need R2. You can go straight from the original to R3, or you can upgrade to the R3 without doing the R2. So I'm just gonna copy all this. It even tells you what was changed as far as with the latest version. Updated Retro Arch, so that's a big one. Updated Video Driver to Vulcan for GameCube and Wii, that's another really big one. Um, Jack and Dexter work properly, updated screen sizing for handhelds, fixed issues and settings not being accessible that some users have experienced. And then uh, it looks like these are the, the fixes from R2, version 2, uh, that were fixed. Um, some Model 2 fixes, PlayStation 3 fix, GameCube fit, fix, a Wii fix, PSP fix. Uh, the N64 controls for GoldenEye were a little off. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this over, or even just cut and paste is easier. Go to my normal coin ops over here and paste. It'll probably ask you to um, overwrite some files and just go ahead and say yes when it prompts you for that. Once that's done, the other thing we're going to do is get our GameCube pack. Go ahead and cut that, and then add that to our collections. We can add it to our collection, so we can just paste that here. All right, now that that is transferred, let's go ahead and launch our coin ops. And it should just launch like normal. Let's go ahead and check our settings, and then... All right, so we now have all of our settings. You could change your theme, start it video on and off, glass effects, scan lines, cool. So I wanted to do this video showing the uh, the Wii, or not the Wii, but the GameCube, because the GameCube uses that those new cores and the Vulcan drivers. So this is a large pack. Hello, Mr. Homer.
with a well played. I got him. Looks really good. Ships. Avoid the Armada's fire. Aim for Oikini's flagship. Here we go! Hey, Slippy, don't get cocky. Slippy, you've already got bogeys on your tail. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Thanks, Fox. I thought I was a goner. You haven't changed a bit, Frog Boy. Cornelia Army now commencing third army of cannon fire. Andros' ships are being destroyed one after the other. We can't give up now. Andros' fleet is dead ahead. They're everywhere. Okay, Falco and Slippy, take the left side. Crystal and Fox, hit the right. Everyone strike now! All right! Hit them hard and don't hold back!
So as you can see, another great pack. This is the uh, official GameCube pack, and it is close to like 80 gigabytes. And when you extract it, it's even uh, more than that. Uh, but it, it's a really nice set, and like I said, I think it's a really underrated system, and a lot of great titles, titles everything from Paper Mario, Luigi's Mansion, the Star Fox titles, the Spyro titles, some good fighters on here, ton of adventure games, and uh, just, you know, a lot of really good stuff, and it was four players, so um, I didn't mess with the settings that much, I felt like it was really good out the gate, but with these Vulcan drivers and the latest uh, cores, you can absolutely, you know, crank this up, crank the resolution up, and get it looking really good but uh i like the bezels and i like the uh the whole thing i i you know i'm happy i i can dig this and uh so that's what i think let me all think oh. like, subscribe we'll catch up on the next one